Let's talk about why the Montessori approach doesn't seem to be working for some people. Despite its rising popularity, captivating aesthetics, impressive toddler feats and numerous social media content, a lot of people still struggle to achieve the reality of high academic performance for well-behaved and regulated children that the Montessori method of education seemed to promise. For some, it would seem that this is the biggest scam of the 21st century. Or is it? Hi, my name is Millicent. I'm a Montessori homeschooling mom as well as a coach. And today, let's unpack some of the reasons why the magic of Montessori seems to be evading some people. But first, let me tell you that you are going to like this video. Oh yes, how do I know this? Trust me, I know these things. So do the right and the wise thing by clicking on that subscribe button so that you get front row seats to this wellspring of goodness. Now we're going to approach this from three points, okay? The first is the wrong perception and expectation. The second is the wrong information. And the third is the wrong approach or something I just like to call the triangle of why Montessori doesn't work. The first is the wrong perception and expectation. Now, someone somewhere sold the wrong idea that Montessori education is a magic wand that you can just wave over any child and all of a sudden they start to do exploits. I don't know who that person is, but they need to be fired already. Because Montessori education is not an overnight transformation, neither is it a casual acquaintance kind of relationship. Montessori takes time and great effort. You will do hard work. You will get uncomfortable before you get comfortable and you will most certainly bleed. Okay, that last part was for dramatic effect, but you get my drift, yes? Next is wrong information. At this point, let me go on record to say that Montessori education is not gentle parenting. Neither is it following the child the way it has been portrayed. Now, the reason why Montessori education is not gentle parenting is because it is not a parenting philosophy or approach. Montessori is first and foremost an educational approach, which means that you cannot take aspects of it that look like aspects of something else and logically conclude that they are one and the same. The same way you cannot say Beyonce is black, Millicent is black, therefore Millicent is Beyonce. Does that make sense to you? Even if I want it to be true. Secondly, some people have created the impression that following the child means doing anything and everything that the child seems to show an interest in. This is wrong information because it is not sustainable, even if you have all of the money in the world. Montessori's approach to following the child is anchored on the foundation of strong observation, whereby observing the child, the adult notes the sensitive period that the child is in, which is manifested through the human tendencies, and then curates an environment that will inspire learning and development. Which brings me to my final point, the wrong approach. Buying tons of Montessori materials, reading Montessori texts, and following other funky Montessori mama accounts on Instagram will not guarantee you success with Montessori. Montessori education is based on science, literally, which means that you have to approach it in the same systematic way as the scientific method. First, make observations by observing your child. Second, form a hypothesis that you can test. Third, experiment by tweaking, removing, and adding materials to your environment. Finally, collect your data and analyze the results. What worked and what didn't? Were there any improvements in engagements or not? If the results align with your hypothesis, you draw a conclusion. If not, you go back and you form another hypothesis. This is how the Montessori method works. And this is something that comes up a lot during my coaching sessions with clients because I have discovered that this is a crucial place where the Montessori approach has been grossly misunderstood. Listen, Montessori is not a crash course. It is not a quick fix, neither is it microwavable. If you're not prepared to commit time to prepare and remain prepared as an adult, to understand the philosophy and its approach to child development and to prioritize and be disciplined in your spending, then the Montessori that you are doing is going to fail. It's a fact. If you're looking for a guide to help you unpack what Montessori really means and how to understand and apply it to achieve the academic success that seems to be evading you right now, I can help you with that. Visit my website to book a free discovery call to find out more about my home learning coaching program. That is it for today. We started when it was brighter and now it's darker. Hey, the things we do for love, right? Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know which of these points resonates with you and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video.